hey guys hope you are well welcome to me beyond astro k okay with another video today i'm talking about mercury retrograde which is happening in taurus i feel that you know we are more or less in the shadow now uh mercury retrograde it happens we're in the pre-shadow from the 7th of april but it goes retrograde the 21st so it's like the day after the solar eclipse in in, in this Aries on May the 14th we these are some of the dates sorry by the way on May the 14th Mercury stations direct in Taurus and yeah that is more or less about it guys it does go retrograde um the 15 degrees so if you are a fixed sign Aquarius Taurus uh scorpio and leo you're going to be feeling this so that's like second degree this is the mercury degree actually so this is like the virgo taurus so it's going to feel very mercurial it does have um a conjunction to uranus taurus is there and obviously this is going to be activating like our mind body and soul and of course, um, like the higher mind, should I say, it can, we can feel not as, fo I feel that some of us will not feel as focused because the tide is going to be changing. Uranus is ruled by Aquarius. So that rules like humanitarianism work, um, protests, um, groups, organizations. Um, so we can, so we can obviously see themes with that and Taurus rules like the banking systems money um us you know to do with like our self work but it's mostly to do with money I always say that Taurus is the bank of the zodiac that's the bank manager or the bank the woman manager um but yes um so yeah that, that's like one of the main themes is that that tight um conjunction to Uranus so you know, we're going to see lots of ups and downs when it comes to like our money, when it comes to how we view ourselves, when it comes to like food, agriculture. A lot of these things will be happening. Um, you know, again, all the fixed sign will be affected, especially Taurus and Scorpio. And it's going to be, um, it's going to be, you know, this is going to be like the second one or the first mercury retrograde which is happening in 2023 we have another one in virgo then we have another one in capricorn so you know we're seeing themes of like money um finances uh our our goals and ambitions our health and wellness all of it is being activated all of it is being played out so yes yeah, so I, i've actually pulled out some cards for this and these are numerology 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 cards these are guidance cards by michelle buchanan and the first card that i pulled out for the general collective is surrender okay so it's like saying us we've got to surrender to the divine there's gonna be lots of changes happening because uranus is involved these changes can come very quick fast sudden um there's a lot of things that we will try to control that we will not be able to control unfortunately um there is uh, things can just happen changes will happen within days and you know don't be surprised during this time that there's things that are come in our life that things just come out of our lives very quickly and also we mustn't be surprised when we ourselves make changes in, in in the whole Taurus theme so when it says surrender it's like we have to try and be as open as we can Uranus is an unstable planet anyway but it does bring us gains that we can have major breakthroughs so we should also try to surrender to those breakthroughs that come the second card we have is teaching and learning so some of us may be going back to teaching and learning we may be going back depends on where it is in your chart so it's actually good to look where Taurus is 
and where Uranus is and also Mercury. You could look where the house rulers are, you know, because it will play out in your house chart. So, for instance, for me, it's going to be in my um, 11th house. So I've got Taurus, the, the house ruler. Then I've also got Mercury in the um, in the fourth and the ninth. You know, so it's good to look where these things, because not just, you know, there's other things that's going on with this as well. So you can go to like Astro Seek or Cafe Astrology and look at your house chart. Um, it's called Placidus. I like Placidus. I feel it plays out big time when it happens. But yes, um, I just, it really says teaching and learning. I just taught some of you who are new to this. But yes, teaching and learning. Some of you may be going back to that. Some of you may be guided to learn a new something new or even teach something new you know retrogrades are about going back things coming back into your life going back over things rethinking things redoing things so some of us could be redoing teaching a course or relearning a subject so that's one of the major themes the last card we have for this for the collective is intuition Uranus can also bring up sudden flashes of insight to the future, which you can see as a, an intuition. This is the number 22 card. And the 22 in the tarot is Uranus, which is the Fool card. And the Fool is about new beginnings. So I feel some of us will tap into our intuition. Um, some of us will start seeing things in the future. If we, especially if we go back to things and see, oh, if I do that, this is what could happen. Or we can get sudden flashes of brilliance and insights to something. If we change course, this is what could happen. Remember, these are fixed planets. You know, this is fixed. Even though Mercury is in Taurus, Taurus is fixed and so is um, Aquarius. So, but because it's got Uranus there, it makes it like it's fixed. But also the flashes on brilliance could be very fixed as well. To, I think whatever we're seeing, we will not forget it in a hurry. So the intuition is going to be um, it's going to be highlighted. But for some, the intuition can be very fleeting. Like we'll get flashes or we'll see flashes of certain things and they'll just go. So it's actually great to try and have, if you can remember, to have like a book, a pen or even like your phone and just like make notes on what you saw and what you're seeing, even like your dreams because it can play out big time and it may not happen now but it could happen in the future so yeah intuition is going to be playing out big time so guys that was my insight with the general tarot for the collective and now let's get to the signs hello Aries. so Aries, this mercury retrograde is in your second house mercury rules your third and it also rules your sixth house. So themes that we could see with this obviously is to do with money. This is a Taurus house. So they could this could see a lot of you like backtracking, rethinking about what you're investing in. It could be anything to do with like crypto, currency, anything to do with like the banking system. Um, if you've been overspending, you, you could be like sort of like trying to rein it in. Um, if you've been over, you know, you could be looking at if you're investing, if you like investing like a gym, for instance, it's very expensive. You might want to look at something different if you are. Um, and even this to do friends and even like your bills. Um, if you're going out with friends and you're the one that's doing all the spending, you might want to look at that and rein it in. There could be a lot more conversations happening with people um, like your siblings. It could be. Old um old conversations being brought up, even with your neighbours and your neighbourhood. Um, you could be going back to like an old childhood home. You could be revisiting like an old um like an an old job or a boss or a colleague can come back into your life. An old friend could come back. Um, even like an old workout regime as well. You might be rethinking your health and wellness big time. And yeah, you know, um, I feel a lot of you look at your finances very differently now, looking at it very strategically, 
you know it's not about you being selfish just that you're looking at it very differently now and also as we know the world has changed because you've got uranus also in your second as well so your finances could be one minute you feel rich and next minute you feel like <laughs> you know um especially if you're investing in like a group or organization or you keep lending money to people and you're not getting anything back could be a group or organization it's definitely time to rethink that okay so the card that you have is adventure so this is saying that you're going to be going on a bit of an adventure um it's like you're going to be rediscovering yourself and it can feel like an adventure some of you could also be going on an adventure like you're doing something short distance that's something you've always wanted to do you're like somewhere you wanted to travel because this is about short distance travel as well like oh i'm going to actually go there or i'm going to actually visit my friend in the village or i'm going to actually you know try and save more or i'm going to actually work out more at home or i'm going to actually start cooking from home or you know um you know someone contacted you on social media it's like actually i'm gonna you know so it could actually be just like a new adventure Sometimes going back to the past and things does feel like something, like an adventure. So I don't feel it's going to be very bad for any of you. I just think it's going to be like just a new beginning, but you just have to rethink things. Hello, Taurus. So this is in your sign. So this is like the physical self. They, they, they could be, because Mercury rules your second and it rules your fifth house. The and also with like the um Uranus being there as well, there's gonna be things that can come thick and fast. You could get like a huge urge and a surge of excitement running through your body. Um, you could be wanting to do loads of things, like um going back on things. Um, it could be back. It could be, it could be a very actually an exciting time for a lot of you Tauruses, like saying if um money coming through um you've invested in something and it's taking too long you signed like a contract and it's taking too long or you could be rereading contracts you could be re looking at your bills your money where you're investing your money who you're investing your money in looking at your your actual self-worth in okay i have um always done things for people but now i'm going to try and start doing things for myself because your mind's going to be swirling especially if your rain is going to be there um and also a lot of you could go back to like passion projects as well and the fifth house is to do with speculative it's like gambling so you may if you if some of you tauruses are thinking of over um, spending or gambling you might want to rethink that um, some of you could just do it like remember Uranus is this you do it on a whim you know you're probably feeling lucky but some of you may be quite cautious and think you know what let me just calm down and just rein it in um but also about fun with your partner there could be a lot more conversations you could be definitely doing something quite creative as well you out of of course like Scorpio can get lots of flashes and sudden brilliance and insights about what you want to do you know um again i feel there's gonna be a lot of electricity in the body like oh my god all these things are happening at once so you may have to try and pace yourself so the card that you have is follow your dreams so dreams are highlighted dreams are brightened now although this is a mercury retrograde this is a time of going back on things that we've either not done forgotten about or they've been presented to us so there's some hidden dreams hidden themes that are coming up i'm feeling for you tauruses and it says follow your dreams if you've always wanted to be like an artist or you've got the funds to do that it's time to follow it yeah and not procrastinate not worry because you know you have a lot of support you've got pisces in your in your 11th house you know, there's friends that are actually there for you. So this card is very positive. It's saying during this Mercury retrograde to really follow your dreams. Of course, go, um, you know, of course, be quite cautious. But I feel that once your hunches are saying things, really follow it. So big time to follow your dreams. 
Hello, Gemini. So this Mercury retrograde is in your 12th house. And you've got Uranus there. So, you know, there is, um, a, this is a time where a lot of you will be, um, you know, of course, we're going back over things. So some of you Geminis, the themes I'm picking up is like re resting, listening to dreams, of course. Um, there could be hidden themes that come up, hidden secrets or uh it, it could also be like to do because you're ruled by mercury you know mercury is your fourth as well so this could be like family secrets coming up you know spending time alone because there could be definitely a lot going on this is a time even though mercury's in the 12th is quite difficult for a lot of you because you may be feeling quite active but it's like you your head is very active but the body's like i just need to stay still it's i feel that there's a lot of things that you guys will be thinking about rethinking about um stuff to do with the past definitely your like your it could be your parents friends families um yeah stuff to do with when you were young guy it could be you know it could be a multitude of things so you guys are definitely pacing yourself and it won't be easy for a lot of you the card that you have is rebirth, and in the tarot, this is a, this is um the tower card, which is Mars. So, I feel that once you, I feel that um there's a sense of like feeling um scared to be alone, because you know sometimes when we're alone and we're still, there's lots of stuff that comes up that we don't want to think about, we don't want to deal with, and this rebirth tower card is like you know it's about dealing with it now. The twelfth house is. Um, as a karmatic house it's a house that is um, hidden themes and hidden hidden things come up within our subconscious and it's about really looking at it deeply and it would but when we're looking at it we get a rebirth we get a sudden flash of okay um, I'm gonna stick with this and see what happens so for a lot of you Geminis this this some of the themes this theme will definitely will, will come up so yes a big time for rebirth for a lot of you um but also spending time you, some of you may be guided to spend more time with family as well spend more time um, working on things to do with it could be any project something creative or something technical like computers as well but yes a big time of rebirth hello cancer so cancer this is in your 11th house and mercury rules your 12th and it also rules your third so it's very much like a thinking time very much a time that again um stuff from the past can definitely come up you know cancers you're not you're not um immune to like past themes because you know a lot of you tend to think of the past but this mercury retrograde because in your 11th some of you could be thinking about friends from the past friends from childhood friends from school college um or could, but it could be hurts could be like conversations that you had and you, you didn't wish it was there so but they could it could reappear i.e like friends from the past can happen now if you're 15 degrees cancer and i've got to say pisces as well this will definitely affect you um yeah so like don't be surprised if friends come back from the past and you are rehashing conversations or you're just catching up or you know some of you may be guided to like join like a secret group doing um like doing spiritual work as well guided work it could be guided meditation or you just hanging out in your neighborhood getting to know like um neighbors or even like even like new friends could reappear as well on one hand it feels very emotional but on the other hand it does feel very because uranus is in your 11th as well so there's like different types of people coming into your life now cancers if you didn't see it they could they could appear it could be from old from back in the day or could just be like new people just reappearing so the card you got is environment 
so i'm picking up like your environment could change it's like um it could it could definitely be um it could definitely be like environment as in you know um to do with like being grounded for some of you because i feel like Taurus is gonna be very busy you could be you know especially if you're catching up with people or you know you're making friends with new people or even like your goals changing you know because your mind could be your mind is very activated as well like you know you um i feel a lot of you will also be presented with things gains you know you know you you got you you're putting stuff out there and people are just coming and oh, i want to work with you i want to do this so um i feel this environment card is saying you know be grounding yourself being around earth as well um it could be to do with environmental things as well it could be that but i'm picking up more like you know surround yourself in a good try to surround yourself in a good environment with good people um go to the park to ground um visit different environments as well you just never know what could happen and yeah there's a lot going to be going on for a lot of you cancers hello leo so leo this Mercury retrograde in Taurus is in your 10th house. You're going to feel this. Especially you second, if you're 15 degrees, Leo. Big time for your career. Lots of changes happening. Mercury rules your second and it also rules your 11th house, which is like money, self-worth, um, banking and, you know, but also your um friends and your goals and dreams. So these themes are definitely coming up. But this is your career. So there definitely could be some changes in your career. You could be, there could be an old boss coming. You could get like a, you know, you probably promised something and now it's going to be coming. Like a promotion. Not a demotion, but more like a promotion. Like something's going to be changing in your status. Also in your relationship as well. And also, this obviously can help increase your money. This does square you, so there could be some niggles along the way. Like, things could take a bit long. Like, if you're waiting for a check to come, it could take a bit long. Or, you know, if you're waiting to, like, change banks, talk to the bank manager, it can just take a while. Remember, this is retrograde, or even, like, with friends as well. They could be not forthcoming in helping, you know, you guys helping each other or there could be some drama there could be arguments as well especially when it comes to money you know money and friendships it never really and truly mixes um if you're owed money from friends this could take a while to come or even vice versa even you and your dreams your goals you know it, it could be like a um you have to really work hard for it because things may not feel as easy but still you can make some gains the 10th house is like the highest house so yeah i feel a lot of you will just have to um of course try and be patient especially if, if like a new you, you've changed jobs um but don't be surprised as well like i said if like an old manager comes or something to do with work definitely so the card you've got is financial discipline so i'm picking up more that you know you may have i feel that some of you leos have got like a new position and you probably feel that you can, you save money, you can just spend it and just celebrate before like the, the ink is signed. So when it says financial discipline, also it could also mean that, you know, you'll get the new job you're getting or something changes within your money and your status. And I feel some of you may be taking it more seriously. Like, you know what? I'm going to have to save this, put this aside, put that aside, you know, for my family, for myself or, you know, for my children. You look good, guys are very, I feel that some, there might be some strategic leanings going on for a lot of you. And especially if you're getting more money, especially if you're getting more gains. Um, but yeah, financial discipline is going to be key with this. Hello, Virgo. How are you? So, you know, like, um, like you and Capricorn, you're going to be enjoying this because this is going to be in your ninth house. You're ruled by Mercury. And Mercury also rules your 10th house. So this is your 9th house that's been activated. So this is showing me that a lot of you are going to be going, could be doing more reading, philosophy work, spiritual work. You might have thought, actually, I'm, 
I'm not really sure about this, but now that Saturn's in my seventh, I need to be a bit more grounded. You know, things are just really up in the year. This is the time I'm going to be doing this. Great time to be doing it. Great time to be learning a new course or study a new language. Um, some of you may, if any of you are like writers or anything, which I'm not surprised if you are, because a lot of Gemini's and Virgos are writers. Um, I've also I've noticed that like if you've got like Virgo factors in your chart, whether it's Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus, Saturn, <laughs> Jupiter, Gemini, or Virgo, you a lot of them tend to be really brilliant writers but anyway um yeah so some of your writers um if you're looking if you're looking to publish your book it might take a while might be some like blocks along the way um this could play a lot on you it could make a lot of you just get quite stressed but it's you know because especially uranus being in your ninth, so you're like your, your high learning is constantly changing and uranus rules your six so you may feel that you're not you, you want to be organized you want to get extremely organized you want things to be on point you know some some things are on point whether it's your like physical but other things are not and you know so you i feel a lot of you are really thinking i need to get really um you know i'm trying to get organized but just constant changes taking deep breaths will definitely help whenever mercury is activated you and gemini feel it and even though it's great, a lot of you can still get quite in your head and quite anxious. So lots and lots of deep breaths, taking time out, chilling, your career. Def this is also saying that there could be changes in your career. So if some of you have decided to be that teacher or mentor, you know, your status could definitely change. But things can just take a while to come through. You know, some of you may be feeling quite impatient as well. So the card you got is the creativity number three empress card that's why i'm one reason why i said take your time try not to push too much the empress card is about relaxation enjoying the fruits of your labor but taking care of yourself you know self-care wellness eating nice food you know trying to relax and also when it says creativity still do what you're doing you know even if it does take long just still do it because it will come once it goes direct you will start seeing actually you know what it needed to happen because there was i've noticed that there's certain mistakes that were made so but i do feel it's a good one for you but you know having that downtime to relax but still working on what you need to work on is going to be good for you so yeah definitely you're going to be feeling this hello libra so libra this is in your eighth house it's mercury retrograde and again whenever the whenever taurus or libra activated it doesn't really hinder you so much because you lot are venus ruled obviously it's air and earth but still you're both venus ruled and you do tend to find that whenever these two get together it doesn't really hinder each other it tends to benefit each other so this is in your eighth, which is about shared resources, debts, loans, rebirth. Unfortunately, Libra, sometimes when these things happen, it can bring up like an old bill. It can bring up something like an old, like money owed. It, not all the time. Um, it can bring up something to do with like inheritance, a lot of inheritance, but also like paperwork to do with inheritance just taking long or um any if your money if you're owed money like even that money from the government that could take a while they could be asking you a lot of questions even that your shared resources with your partner you guys could be racking your head like what the hell is going on you know this can bring up lots of fears because mercury rules your ninth also rules your 12th house so this can bring up like insecurities and fears um you i feel a lot of you could be wishing for things to just hurry up you know Especially if money is tight for some of you. I'm not saying it is, but in general it could be. But if money feels like tight, like you you want to purchase something and it's just like, you know, I want to do this, but I can't do this because I need to sign this or wait for this. But I feel on the other side that money could come back to some of you. You know, um, even if it's taking long, it's like, you know, we're just ironing things out because we're paying out so much to you. Where There could be backlogs, all of that could be happening. 
um also don't be surprised if any like fears come out it could be to do with sexual things or it could be to do with things from the past some of you may decide that you want to like try and heal yourself in some way or heal your relationship um you, a lot of you could be learning about um stuff to do with like tarot and astrology deeper things these things can definitely come up some of you may want to be alone so the card that you've got is healing so there's some healing that's going to be going on the eighth house is about transformation so i feel that any stuff that comes up to do with like your money and joint finances or even losses there's a healing element that's going to come with this it may shake it may feel like it's shaking some of you up but i feel that once it passes it's like you know what i, I feel actually quite good i feel like you know sometimes certain things need to happen in order for this to happen i'm glad i read that book i'm glad i spoke to the therapist i'm glad i listened to my dreams i'm glad i sort of spent time by myself so there's going to be some healing aspects that comes with this retrograde for a lot of you hello scorpio so you're going to feel this big time because this is in your seventh house and you know you and taurus definitely mercury rules your eighth house which is your house and it also rules your 11th house which is friends you know gains you know higher um, higher learning but you know your um goals so you know there's going to be there could be some challenges that happen in relationship it could be lots of going back and forth there could be old arguments that could be brought up but also for some of you scorpions this could, and i forgot to say like libra there could be an old lover coming back that could try to be in contact with you whether you see them or it's on social media there could be you know they could be fine you could be thinking about one and if you know they pop up um i don't know if a lot of you actually use facebook but you know like you know um it says add a friend and that i'm not really big on facebook but still they could pop up any on any any social media platform and this could see a lot of you like talking about things that weren't spoken about at the time which could actually bring some healing to you guys you know especially if you're hurt um and you just need to know what or even you could be reaching out to an old lover but if in if it's in a stable relationship and there's something going on a lot you and your partner could really reconnect as well this also could be bringing up contracts delays you re if you're going to sign a contract really read it you don't want to sign your life away um uh also like debts loans these themes could be coming up as well like crises i'm picking up um delayed transformation like some of you may be holding on to something that needs to be transformed from your life um but also there could be friends friends could come up there could be old friends coming back but also you could be revisiting an old goal yeah or old goal could just come into your life you think actually i need to just need, need to do this so the card you've got is nature and again it was like cancer cats had environment so you've got nature and this is because it's going to be it's going to be quite a lot for a lot although i'm not going too deep i'm just this is a general um being around nature will definitely help you know speak to cancer if you've got a cancer friend you guys may need to go on lots of walks um but yeah because especially stuff from the past comes in your face you know it can shock a lot of you remember uranus is in your seventh that's shaking up your relationships anyway and uranus rules your fourth so this is to definitely to do with that past like childhood so you know if any childhood themes or hurts come especially when it's concerning relationship or even like a friend friendship you guys will need to like ground yourself so being in the park nature um even some of you hugging trees talking to the trees but this card is definitely about ground grounding yourself because a lot can come up now scorpions and some of this may not shock a lot of you but some of this may shock a lot of you so yeah being around nature hello sagittarius so saggies this 
Mercury retrogrades in your sixth house, which is a house of health, wellness. Um, I even said medicine, but yeah, that definitely could be a thing. But also, it's to do with your work life and people you work with. And how you organise yourself, your routines and pets. So, big themes coming up. Um, Mercury rules your... Sorry, Mercury rules your 10th, which is, you know, Virgo. And it also rules your 7th house, which is Gemini. I don't know how I can forget that. So, you know, areas of your relationship and your career is coming forth. There could be themes that come up with that. With, and you know, someone from the past, like a friend from the past coming up, an old contract, even like an old job, an old boss. You know, even your, your status can, you know, there could be changes in your status. But also this will make you, you could be re-looking at your routines and trying to refine it. Because it could be all over the place at the moment you know you probably thought actually it's fine especially because the north node is there and uranus is there but it could just be very much all over the place so this is giving you a time to like re-look at it and think okay this is not actually working for me um again as we all get older what we do for our body is doesn't work all the time you know if you're a sprinter and you're you know if you're very lucky in your 40s and 50s and you still can sprint that's great but it doesn't work for all of us so you might be re-looking at, okay, I need to do like yoga, more yoga. I need to do more walking or, you know, I need to like um, have more salads in my food type of thing. Or it's like you like looking at how you're working as well. Like if you're doing too much, you're not doing enough. Or even like looking at your surroundings at work. You know, um, am I happy here? Um, there could be also um, old colleagues that could come back. And there could be some. There could be some drama and delays with colleagues too. Um, some of you who got a pet, you might decide I don't actually need one, or you might decide rethink about having a pet. But all in all, this is about you know you organizing yourself. So the card you've got is love, and it's a number six card, which is the Sagittarius card, which is um the Gemini card of the lovers. So this is showing me that they, you could be in two minds about things. Lots of decisions to make. This could also bring up... Um, some of you actually may fall in love with something. May fall in love with your job. If you thought it was just too much, might think, actually, there's things I actually like about this. Uh, you might be falling in love with a new workout regime. Fall in love with, you know, eating differently. Fall in love with... It could just be a, a big lot of love but also it's about decisions that you guys are going to be making that could just change the course of everything so really take your time but yeah when it says love card i feel like some some of you definitely may re really fall in love with something hello capricorn so how are you so this is going to be affect this mercury retrograde will affect all of you capricorns who are 15 degrees so if you're january you're going to be feeling this and this is in your fifth house. You know, Mercury also rules your sixth house of, you know, routines, daily routines. And it also rules your ninth house. And you've got Uranus here as well. So, I mean, I've heard, and some Capricorns I know have talked to me, they've had like shock, shock pregnancies and shocked you know, things like new lovers coming into their life. And that could happen. You know, there could be conversations of, you know what, I actually want to, you know, thinking about expanding my family. I actually start to want to have fun again. An old lover could reappear, you know, especially if you are single, they could re-come into your life. Or even if you're not single, it could, could re-come into your life. But it could also remind you, Capricorns, about how much fun you had, how much you didn't take life so seriously. And even if you don't get back with them, you know, because sometimes with retrogrades, if someone comes into life, that doesn't mean they're going to stay. But still, it can make you rethink things about, you know what, this is how I used to feel. And I don't know what happened. Blame Pluto. But anyway. Um, but yes, a lot of these things can happen. Something to do with your children. 
like your children might have to retake a course or they might have to do like like join like a reading group or you know you guys may want to spend more time with your children as well um or even do like a sport sporting event or having fun you know um even having fun with your partner you know i feel a lot of you are going to be rescheduling things properly and also relearning things you know even though it rules your ninth house about higher learning your your like and belief system it's like you're going to be thinking a bit differently now like you could be on this treadmill of you know got to do this fast 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 you know you know making money you know for your family but you're not actually doing the fun work so i feel like this is going to be making you rethink things differently um especially in a fun way so the card you've got is parenting <laughs> so you could be parenting yourself but also again like i said themes of parenting can come up like if you are in a relationship and again like you and your partner's talking about you know expanding your family or even having your first child these are the themes that could come up you could be thinking about it secretly as well if you even if you're single too some of you may want to adopt maybe uranus is about that um that that world as well um but still you know, because there's unconventional ways that we, we all know that we can have children. But also, parenting is about, you know, looking at yourself, if you are a parent. Um, looking at your goals, looking at your aims and dreams. And, yeah, I feel that some of you, it's about getting back to basics. In a, getting back to basics, but also having fun. Also, spending time more with family or even spending time with your partner and remembering what fun used to be like. You know, fifth has also to do with like gambling. And so, you know, some of you may decide you want to do that, but you have to also rein things in. Another thing with this is that, you know, you may find that when it comes to like creativity, um, Things may not be as forthcoming. Remember, Pisces Saturn being in your third as well is making your mind a little bit. So, yeah, you may find that, you know, you want to, like, do this and do that. You know, your creativity is on a high, but it's like you want to do it, but it doesn't really happen. It could feel like a creative block. So, you know, pace yourself because um, it will come. But sometimes when we when things are blocked, that means we have to work on something. It could be work on relationship, it could be working, spending more time with family, or it could be like reading or just chilling. A lot of these things could be happening. But yeah, parenting is a bit of an ambiguous card, but I do feel that parenting is very big right now for you. Hello, Aquarius. So, Mercury in, in Taurus is in your fourth house. This is about roots, family, home, the past, uh, heritage. But also, you know, you're ruled by Uranus, you know, so you may be thinking, OK, this needs to be done. That needs to be done. You know, you could be fired up to be doing something within the home. You could be fired up to, like, change, like, your whole environment. You could be moving home or because you um, jet Mercury uh, also rules your um, your fifth house which is about fun, creativity, your passion projects, children, but and it also rules your your eighth house as well. So even though this is in your fourth house, this is a cancer house, so it feel, there may be stuff that feels very emotional to you guys, like your mind could be go real back to the past, um you could discover that you've got i don't know like a, a cousin or brother or sister or you know it could be discovering secrets and um, if you're fits in the home things can just take a while like plumbing and painting it might be a lot of more work to be done um and you guys may want to have a bit more fun you know but this i feel that like some of this will give you a bit more time with your family as well so if you're one of those busy Aquarians buzzing here, there and everywhere, it's maybe time to spend a bit more time um, and probably do things that you used to do when you are young as well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you Aquarians like, revisited like an old family home 
that one used to live in or even you talking to like your elders your grandparents or parents and they're telling you stuff that you never even knew about and this could actually heal trauma this could actually heal ancestral things ancestral you know that some of you may feel is curses but um, ancestral traumas it could heal it could make it could transform a lot of stuff for you guys too uh, you know, because this is a time where a lot of you may discover lots of secrets. Hey, eighth house is about secrets too. So yeah, or you may be delving deep. You maybe decide that you want to write about something. Anything like that can happen. So the card you got is self love, and I feel that whatever happens, because it does feel very emotional for a lot of Aquarians. Um, because even like if you've got children, even the children could be telling you stuff that you may have missed the boat on. Um, or even you, you know, even you talking to your children or talking to like your family in a way, or even visiting like, you know, your childhood days, you could have missed something, you know, like, oh, this is why I'm the way I am. You know, I, I you know, it's about self-love is about accepting the self, but also accepting others the way they are. So there's a lot that's going to be going on for a lot of your Aquarians, you know, and I do... I can feel there's gonna be. I can feel that it might be lots of tears and nothing wrong in tears. Tears actually makes you strong. So yes, there's a lot you're gonna be discovering, but most thing is about self love. And my last one, Pisces. So Pisces, this Mercury retrograde is in your third house and mercury rules your fourth and it also rules your seventh so pisces again like everyone whenever mercury enters like a relationship sector love sector or friend sector these people things and that can come back so it could be like an old friend could come back from the past and um, we could be communicating more with them uh something to do with neighbors neighborhoods you know you could be deciding you want to do like travel short distance travel somewhere to visit your siblings there could be conversations more of your sibling it could be really aligning yourself more of your you know your your siblings but also this is to do with communication as well and contracts so there could be delays here if any of you guys are teachers or writers you know, you could expect some delays, even mental delays, like you could have writer's block. You know, with Uranus being in your third as well, it's giving you lots of insights. It's also giving you lots of flashes of brilliance of what you could do, what you could write, what you can publish or blog. And it comes and goes. So in the beginning, I said it's great for you to have like a pen or paper to write down or even your mobile. When it comes, try and write it down quickly. Because you may need it in the future. Also, um, stuff to do with home could be coming up. Decorating, plumbing, all of that. And you, some of you may want to be more closer to home. Because, you know, again, home is where the heart is. And because it rules your seventh as well, which is about your relationships with your partner. You know, I wouldn't be surprised a lot of you Pisces were more chatty now. Like, you know, when I was young... Blah, 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 lots of talking lots of communicating it's really important to try and listen to your partner as well because um you guys may feel very confident you know but i do see definitely that um a lot more communication i.e blogging and all that would definitely be coming up and some of you may decide you want to like work more with your partner and definitely work more closer to home um there definitely could be some delays again with opportunities but I feel once it's cleared, like, they will just come thick and fast. So the card you've got is physical activity. So <laughs> the thing is, Saturn's in your sign, so it's actually on your physical body. So a lot of you Pisces, like, I'm Pisces, you know, I'm late degrees, but I'm Pisces. And, you know, I'm starting to do a bit of weights. You know, I'm starting to do the weights and I'm trying to do more yoga, which I feel is more imp is very important um but still you know i've got taurus in my chart so again because this is the third house being activated because uranus is in uranus also rules your 12th house 
really listen to your subconscious because it could be saying to you when to go and when to slow down. And some of you may not feel that you're having that downtime because your mind's going to be very active and very busy. So physical activity is showing me like to, you know, if you are doing something physical for yourself, keep on it. But you may need to tone it down. Um, whenever the third house is activated, that's like the mind thing. So things like dancing, yoga, breath work, really important for a lot of you Pisces. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't do high intensity, but it just feels like the more high intensity you do, the more things are going to be activated. Because Uranus also rules the um, nervous system and you don't want to activate it too much. So maybe want to lower it. But also some of you may feel that if you're not doing anything physical during this third house activation that, you know, you can just get very overwhelmed. So finding something that you enjoy is the perfect time. It can actually help you calm down um, and listen more. Again, you know, your 12th house has been activated too. So, yeah, but all in all, a very busy time for a lot of you Pisces. So, guys, that was uh, the Mercury retrograde in Taurus for all the signs. Um, once again, guys, look where Taurus is in your chart, where Aquarius is. Um, look where Uranus is and also Mercury as well, because they will definitely be activated. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for listening and to my subscribers, old and new. And I will speak to you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.